Today we're talking 90s Chevy truck. Notice that this master cylinder is leaking brake fluid. Um, can't really see the evidence of it, but it definitely was. But it's leaking out here right at the bottom of the reservoir. So rather than changing the whole master cylinder, we're just going to be changing the reservoir. Um, and then I'll save us from having to bleed the brakes, which is not going to be possible on this truck because uh, thankfully we use 8 inches of salt for every 1 inch of snow we get around here and everything is rusted so the bleeders are no longer operational. Anyway, I got this cleaned up a little bit with some paper towels. I'm going to drain the fluid out of there uh, into a water bottle. I'm going to be using this pump from a soap. Uh, this is from a bathroom soap. You can also use like a turkey baster or a, a big uh, medicine dropper thing to uh, once you pop this open just drain the fluid out and we'll move on from there. All right that medicine dropper I mean a uh, soap pump made quick work of the fluid so now I'm gonna put the cap back on and um, this reservoir uh, it just pries off it's not held in with uh, any bolts or uh, pins or anything so I believe you just have to wiggle it a little bit and uh, lift up get some leverage okay I grabbed one of these sticks and pried and we can see now that it's uh, partially out so now I'm just gonna take and uh, sort of scrape uh, this appears to be kind of like a rusted mess so I'm gonna scrape a little bit of that just away so it doesn't go into the master cylinder so I'll clean it up a little bit more and uh, finish removing it. Now you do have to pry kind of hard to get it loose. Uh, it is on there kind of tight. And off she comes. This has rusty metal on it. The new one appears to not. Anyway, this is what it'll look like. I'm going to uh, clean this up a little bit more. Not getting that debris into the master cylinder. And then the new one, I'll lube it up with a little bit of brake fluid and uh, press it on down in there. Okay, update. There's no way that you're going to be able to put the tank onto there with the seals on it because they're too rigid and it's uh, too small of a hole. So I took a screwdriver and carefully pried the seals off of the reservoir. There's just a tiny lip that holds it and then I went and pressed the seals down into the master cylinder and I even had to use a screwdriver to sort of um, help guide them in because it's a very snug fit in there and now should be able to uh, lube these holes a little bit and uh, put the uh, reservoir in over the seals. Yeah, that, that'll go on there. Okay, that was a little bit of a struggle. Um, ended up pushing down on it really hard, as hard as I could. It still didn't seem um, very seated, and I realized then when pushing, uh, this is actually flexing a good amount. So I ended up taking a 6 inch C clamp, very useful tool, stuck it down in there like this um, to actually press down right um, on the port there that's going down 
and I pressed down on that one as well and uh, now if we look at it uh, it looks nice and seated and uh, it's pretty firm if I try to wiggle it so now we're gonna fill it up with brake fluid I'll let it sit for a little while um, there shouldn't be any bubbles to come out because there's fluid at the bottom of these still so it should be um, perfectly fine I'll fill it up and uh, that should take care of it. Uh, you don't want to overfill it. Uh, in case you're going to do brakes, you got to compress the calipers. Um, so you don't want to overfill it. And then, um, obviously, you want to be careful dealing with brake fluid um, and dispose of it correctly. I uh, really only spilled a couple drops. Uh, not much at all since I um, so I sucked that out of there. Uh, I really didn't spill too much, but uh, I am working over stone so that uh, I could wash it away easily. If you were working on your driveway and you spill this on your driveway, it can damage your driveway. And uh, that should conclude this repair.